So these new atoms exist, but the act of splitting that atom has a byproduct that's very, very important, and that is heat. So I'm going to add heat to the board here. So we've created two new atoms, and we've created all this heat. And um, if we're clever, we can use that heat to create electricity. But there's another thing that happens as well, and it's going to take me just a second to get all my heat on the board here. So we've got these new atoms, we've got all this heat, but there's something else that happens. We actually create three new fast neutrons, or I guess they kick off of the fission. So you've got these fast neutrons going off into space. Wee, wee, wee! They're just flying off. So everything you see on the board here was in that uranium-235 atom when it was hit by one fast neutron. So if you think about it, we can think of that uranium-235 atom almost like a spring-loaded mousetrap. It's got potential energy and it's stored up and it's even got these three extra fast neutrons over here. And, and when you tr when you hit it, it'll spring off and it'll do crazy things. So if we think about that, and then we cleverly arrange a bunch more uranium-235 atoms out here around that initial fission event, then we can do a really cool thing. With that fast neutron that's kicking off the splitting of the atom, it can go over here, and if there's another U-235 atom in the proximity, it can slap it and trigger it, and then you create this whole thing all over again, creating heat and three more fast neutrons. So by cleverly arranging U-235 atoms around each other, scientists and engineers can create more fast neutrons from one fast neutron triggering a U-235 atom. It's almost like a bunch of mousetraps ready to go, and if you cleverly arrange them, you can create heat at the rate that you want. So by controlling the proximity or the probability of the interaction of these fast neutrons, wee, 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 with these other U-235 atoms, scientists and engineers can control how much heat is created in the reactor, which is amazing.